As communities, we've become intimate with the experience of isolation during this pandemic. Our vulnerability has been confronting and we've been doing so in majoritively small spaces surrounded by our histories, our possessions, our experiences. This has distorted the passage of time and elevated our domestic space into a world of accidental, personal monuments. During this time, we've all felt the need to reconnect, to escape our own stories and be present in the stories of others. I think this was on both our minds when we came across this software that allows you to map the three-dimensional space around you using a series of photographs and GPS coordinates. You can see here that it's creating a sort of dot matrix around objects in real time and that allows you to make these spaces come to life in three dimensions. And what you're left with is a sort of memory of the objects. And so the actual capture and creating of the point cloud at the image texture map here, we see the rendered parts that it actually recreates and reconstructs this based on overlapping images and overlapping pixels. And that mapped onto the point cloud allows it to reconstruct the space. And it's not just for these indoor spaces, we can also look at outdoor spaces, buildings that you know we feel may not always be there, buildings that we pass every day. The natural light allows for the photogrammetry. We actually capture them and move around them in this way, it allows you to appreciate them in a different space. Obviously this technology can be used to capture entire areas or even cities, but we were more interested in the internal stories, the unseen spaces, the domestic, these places where we were living through this international catastrophe. You know, capturing this space in this way was something that we've been working with for a while, doing volumetric capture, hacking different bits of hardware and software, but switching to this programmetry method really allowed us to make it accessible to anyone to capture their space just using their smartphone. In order to help people emotionally connect to this digital realm, you use other immersive narrative devices, such as surround sound or music, storytelling, level design, lighting design. Even the aesthetic of the world makes a huge difference in this but we felt it was really important that any technology we use would be widely available and almost open source so that the power to create these beautiful spaces wouldn't be just ours, but would be something that could be handed over to the audience itself. With this in mind, we want to collaborate with our audiences over the next year to create a digital monument to these hidden stories and inequalities that we've been experiencing during this time. A lot of people talked about the quarantine as, you know, the virus not discriminating against anyone, but it very much did discriminate in, in terms of what place you were, if you had a place to yourself, if you had a place where you could work, be safe, shelter, not worry about who you were with. What we can create is mutual spaces shared by one another that we can literally walk around inside. We can be with each other in new ways when old ways were not possible. We can see parts of ourselves that are unseen and create a genuine intimacy across a digital space that maybe has not existed before. 